don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cop 360 here, and over the past 48 hours, AMD pretty much had the the analyst day. And honestly, to be honest with you, I overlooked this when I saw it in the news. I'm thinking, oh, okay, maybe it's something else, but apparently not, because they talked about everything. So today, I'm going to be focusing mainly on the the FX CPUs and APUs. I can say in the moment, and in another video, I'll talk about the GPU shit. But holy crap, AMD have pretty much come out and confirmed that FX CPUs are returning. They are coming back and repeat, they are coming back in the form of the Zen chip. Now since 2013, there has been a lot of talk about Zen. What is Zen? Is Zen actually coming? Is legit? Is it legit? Is Jim Keller coming? Is he going to be the savior of AMD? And apparently, according to these slides that AMD showed at their day, Holy fuck, Zen is going to be insane, because look, let's let's get straight into it. Zen is supposedly going to have, repeat, a 40% increase in IPC in, uh, performance over Excavator. Repeat, over Excavator. That does not include PileDriver and Bulldozer. If we encounter, or if we incorporate PileDriver and Bulldozer into those numbers, it actually adds up to about a 61% improvement over the bulldozer architecture that is absolutely insane this will no doubt bring amd at least up to par with intel at least now when we want to talk about what comes with zen we're going to be seeing you know obviously it's going to be a new design we've got none of that module bullshit we're going for straight out cores and threads now amd has uh put in their smt system simultaneous multi-threading and according to them they have the ability, each core has the ability to handle more than two threads. So we could see cores handling three uh, three threads. So maybe one day we'll be seeing 12 cores, 36 threads, eight cores, 24 threads. But for the moment, for now, each core handles two threads like an Intel, like a fucking standard Intel CPU. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? We've got fucking, we've got the 61% IPC improvement. We've got this on the 14 nanometer architecture, 14 nanometer uh, process. This is sick. The, the AMD is jumping essentially. When we talk about the 8350, they're jumping from a 32 nanometer process all the way down to a 14 nanometer process. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Now, of course, when will these come out? As I've said before, I've said in multiple videos, Zen is coming in 2015. And beyond that, AMD plans on coming out or updating Zen with the Zen Plus cores, the Zen Plus architecture, which is obviously just going to be an improvement, like Sandy Bridge to Ivy, like as uh, like Haswell to Broadwell or whatever, like the same shit. Now, if you want to talk about K12 and ARM, K12 is going to be uh, the Zen version of like, it's going to be a high performance ARM core, a high performance fucking Zen ARM core. Like if you're into them embedded applications, the server shit, then this is going to be good for you. K12 is apparently coming out in 2017 because they're going to be combining x86 with ARM to produce some kind of base. It's not really my area, not really my forte, but if it is for you, you should be more than happy. Now continuing on, AMD does plan Repeat, they do plan on combining, repeat, combining APUs and CPUs onto one socket and that socket, ladies and gentlemen, is the AM4 socket, repeat. We are coming to a unified socket for both APUs and CPUs, thank God. This is something that we've really wanted to see, None of, no more of that fucking FM2+, plus, M3+, plus. shit is fucking unified, it's all in one, that's the good shit. Now, of course, AMD also talked about the 7th gen APUs. That should be fucking sick. I mean, we're going to see, obviously, if they're based on Zen, you're going to see some massive IPC improvements, something that was really needed. And, of course, everyone knows AMD is very, very good with their GPUs. So, with HBM in the mix, this is going to be insane, guys. Insane. We're going to be seeing some really powerful APUs. I mean, right now, they're at about 7750, 7770 level. We're going to be seeing some insane shit. Imagine having like a 7870 grade GPU as integrated graphics. That will be sick. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, comment down below about what you think about this. We're seeing DDR4. We're seeing fucking high cores. 8 cores, 16 threads, 16 cores, 32 threads. It's going to be sick. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And comment down below on what you think about AMD's upcoming Zen Core. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.